You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his accession to the throne anniversary. His Majesty King Hamad wished His Majesty King Abdullah II abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the brotherly Jordanian people under his leadership. His Majesty the King also hailed the depth of the steadily progressing good relations between the two countries and their people. His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his accession to the throne anniversary. His Royal wished His Majesty King Abdullah II abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the brotherly Jordanian people under his leadership. He also affirmed the depth of relations between the two countries and their people in various fields. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan on his accession to the throne anniversary. His Royal Highness wished His Majesty King Abdullah II abundant health and happiness and further progress and prosperity to the brotherly Jordanian people under his leadership. His Royal Highness sent a similar congratulatory cable to the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II. The Algerian army called for holding a serious and constructive dialogue to resolve the crisis in the country to speed up finding appropriate solutions. The army said it had rejected the transitional phase in order to preserve the continuity of the state, noting that the transition period can produce a situation that is difficult to control. The army considered that the opportunity for a real dialogue in which the parties would make mutual concessions should not be wasted, calling for national figures and elites to join the dialogue to find solutions. It also stated that the Independent Electoral Commission will ensure the integrity of the next elections. Egypt said security forces have killed four militants in the rest of northern part of the Sinai Peninsula. The Interior Ministry stated that the four were killed in a shootout with police south of the Mediterranean city of Al-Arish on Saturday, where the police seized automatic rifles, bombs and explosive belts. The ministry said that the four were implicated in an attack earlier this week on a police checkpoint in northern Sinai, which left eight policemen dead. On Thursday, authorities said security forces killed 14 suspected militants linked to the attack. The long-running insurgency in northern Sinai escalated after the military overthrew the elected president in 2013. Sudanese armed forces opened today the roads leading to the sit-in site where scores of protesters were killed by the army five days ago. The protest site was located outside the army command complex in Khartoum. The streets were all cleared and barricades and tents used by protesters removed. Cars were seen crossing the street that were plugged during the sit-in of the protesters who were calling for the handover of power from the Sudan's ruling military to a civilian government. <laughs> 